When you have a set of raw data like this, where you've just got a list of numbers, it's very difficult to determine uh, what that data really looks like. A good way of representing it is via a stem and leaf diagram. So a stem and leaf diagram works by finding first of all the stem and then the leaves. Okay? So the stem is found by looking really at, because they are all in their tens, okay, we would use the tens column. So we can see that we've got two, three, five, we've got four, one, and so it makes sense to have one, two, three, four, and five as our stem, representing the tens column. Now, for the tens, we've got 19. That's the only one, okay? So we can represent that with a one and nine. Now, for the twenties, we have 27, 28, 28. Okay, so 27, 28, 28, and we can write that as 27, 28, 28, just by writing the individual units, rather than 27, then 28, then 28. We can write it like this. It saves on space. Then for the 30s, we have 30, 31, and 35, so 0, 1, 5. For the 40s, we have 41, 47, 48, so 178. And then for the 50s, we have 52 and 56, so 2 and 6. So this is the stem, and these are the leaves coming off the stem. Okay? Now, in order to make sure that this makes sense, uh, for the data that we're looking at, we have to include a key because the key tells us the units that we're working in. So we can say that 5, 2, for example, that little bit there, represents, in our case, 52. Because it could have represented 5.2 if all of these had been, uh, had a decimal point in the middle, like this, then I could represent it with it precisely the same stem and leaf diagram, but I would need a key to say that 5.2 actually represents 5.2 and not 52. Now, from that, what's good is that it is an ordered stem and leaf diagram. And so that just means that the numbers are in order. You can kind of see it like a bar chart in the sense that you can see where the majority of the data is. It's easy to read off the minimum maximum value, uh, 19 and 56, so you can find the range. You can also find the median uh, quite neatly by using a crossing off technique. So. If you cross off the lowest and the highest, the next lowest, the next 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 highest, that leaves us with 31 and 35. And so the median is the halfway point, okay? So that would be 33. So we can read off the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, from a stem and leaf diagram as well. And so they do have their uses.